This is Kirsten Stevens, and we are here at the world-famous Apollo Theater for a sneak peek at our 2015-2016 season. Come on in. Tonight, a select group of patrons and tastemakers were invited to witness the unveiling of the theater's new season. From jazz to ballet, breakdance to opera, this will prove to be one of the most exciting Apollo seasons yet. Well, first of all, let me say it's our biggest season. Um, we have over 100 performances on stage, and so that's really new. And also the diversity of the programming is really incredible because in addition to music, Apollo music, which we always have in its shows like Amateur Night and our music cafe, we also have an opera. In addition to that, we're working with Classical Theater of Harlem on a big holiday show called First Noel, and it's the first time that they'll be here. Ballet Hispanico, we're commissioning them in part to do a new work by a Brazilian choreographer, Fernando Melo. So there's a lot of you know new disciplines, not just music, dance, opera, theater. Tonight's event was hosted by none other than Harlem's own Bevy Smith. Oh, well, there was so much going on up on that stage. I was like flabbergasted. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I need to leave so I can buy my tickets. I'm definitely going to Ballet Hispanico. Um, I was just saying to Irvin that I was supposed to be away during his, um, his Halloween performance, but I'm staying. I'm not going to Maui. I'm going to be in Harlem because I cannot miss Irvin coming back and bringing New Orleans up, up to New York. Well, it's a masquerade party, um, Halloween night. Um, and it starts off on the main stage with uh, Dee Dee Bridgewater, the 19th piece New Orleans Jazz Orchestra. And then we're going to go down to the uh, cafe and we're going to throw a hardcore after party with a band called the Brassaholics, which is a young party band in New Orleans. And of course the first Noel, I mean, you know, my parents are elderly and I have a lot of nephews and, and the niece and so that's a perfect thing to bring the entire family out to see. The production is created by Jason Michael Webb, uh, assistant uh, musical director of Motown, assistant musical director of Violet, and Leland Duran Thompson, who is a CTH artistic associate. The idea came about a few years ago because uh, as an actor myself, uh, when I did regional theater, I always saw that uh, they did Christmas Carol. Um, as part of their season and the revenue that came from Christmas Carol helped fund the programming of their next season. So I've always thought that Harlem itself should have an evergreen Christmas show. I'm not trying to say to you what to do or how to do it, but every year you stop at other houses and you never come to mine. I can understand on one bad day, but it happens very, very first time here. I'm so excited to be here and just growing up watching Apollo on TV back in the day. Mm -hmm. um, it's just so exciting to just kind of like live that history and walk through these halls and, and experience that. I'm excited about Halloween night. We're trying to look at how can we also bring a load of people from Washington, D.C. From New Orleans, so of course I gotta go support my homeboy, Urban Mayfield, so um, I'm definitely gonna come to that. I felt honored to, to be in here and I just you know can't wait to see an actual performance. Wow, what a night. As quoted in New York Magazine, Harlem is once again in Renaissance mode. The Apollo Theater reigns supreme as the soul of American culture. You won't find this much creativity, this much culture anywhere else in the world. Do you want to come to the world famous Apollo Theater? Go to apollotheater.org and get your tickets today.